Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the NVIDIA Zora Unreal Engine 5 demo that they just released last week that they actually showcased in GDC. Now, this is pretty insane because it pretty much showcases all of the technologies that NVIDIA has been kind of developing uh, for Unreal Engine 5. And the biggest one, actually, during GDC was Mega Geometry which lets you fully ray trace nanite uh, meshes in Unreal Engine 5. So here we are. I'm going to try and move as slow as I can in here so we're not going to get any crashes. We have it in 4K DLSS performance. We have ray reconstruction turned off for now. And let's go ahead and take a look at our frames per second here. I am not generating any frames whatsoever. So this is mainly using DLSS. Uh, this is not with MFG. We do have the RTX 5090 with an Intel 12 series CPU. So here we go. Let's crank this to quality for now. And we're going to be losing some FPS, obviously. So let's go ahead and uncheck that. And this is what you're looking at with just DLSS quality without any frame generation. Additionally, we're not using any ray reconstruction at all. Now, by default for this to work, the denoiser is turned off. So as you can see right here, it is pretty noisy, especially in the shadows. Now, this is a good way to showcase what ray reconstruction will do. And I'll show that here in a second. So think about this kind of like uh, if you're shooting a camera and you're in a really dark spot and you're having to you crank your eyes. So you're going to start seeing some noise. And basically, that's what I kind of compared to. So here we go. Looking pretty nice. The shadows are falling really nicely. And again, uh, this, is all, this is all nanite, which is pretty sick. All right, so let's flip on the quality mode to DLAA. This is the highest quality you can get with NVIDIA DLSS. This is pretty close to TSR as far as quality goes. But as you can see here, we are losing a lot of uh, FPS. So I'll turn this on right now so you can see it. We got about 22 frames per second. And actually, uh, that said, uh, this is not a properly packaged file. This is only being launched uh, as a standalone mode. So just kind of keep that in mind when you're looking at these frames per second. I was not able to package it. Unfortunately, I was getting some error. So this is just a, a standalone mode in Unreal Engine 5 Zora branch. So here we go, 22 frames per second. Looks pretty darn good. But obviously, this is not going to be playable whatsoever. So that said, let's go ahead and turn on our two times. That's going to bring our FPS to like 42 frames per second. Again, we're in DLAA because I'm crazy. So let's uncheck these. And as you can see here, we get about 40 frames per second now, which is a lot better than 22. Like it said, it's twice the frames. All right, so let's flip this on to now four times. Since we do have the RTX 5090, I am able to generate four frames, as you can see right here, out of that one. So we're generating three, and you have the one original. And yeah, this is pretty nice. It's a lot smoother. Get about 83 frames per second. And again, I'm using a controller right now, so it's a little bit smoother. Let me move this mouse out of the way. All right, so what I'm going to do now is flip on uh, ray reconstruction so we can kind of see that working for us. Now, again, we have this a DLAA 4K with no frame generation. Let's turn this on now so you can kind of see. And immediately you're going to notice that the noise, and I'm going to try to move here as slow as I can because um, I keep getting some crashes here whenever I move fast. So... I'm going to try to move this as slow as I can. And again, and, and what's crazy is I've tried ray reconstruction earlier on in 5.2, I believe, when it was first kind of like introduced. And I am starting to notice that the model that they have now is a lot more stable because before you would get kind of like a smeared texture on the ground or the floor and then on the foliage as well. But as you can see right here, and I know I'm trying to move it as slow as I can, even the ground here, the tiles, 
you're not seeing a lot of that. Even in Cyberpunk 2077, whenever they added ray reconstruction, you can kind of see it smearing a little bit. But it, the model has gotten so much better that it's pretty darn insane on how it looks now. And 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 I know it's not perfect. I, I mentioned in my previous kind of demonstration that you know ray reconstruction still has an issue with like water and stuff like that. But that's that's difficult. Period. But it's getting better. It's it's getting pretty darn insane as far as not only denoising real time, but it's actually sharpening as well. You see and clearly see right here. So with this on and off, and just for the sake of my computer not blowing up, let's get at least two times in here so I can generate some frames. Get to like 42 frames per second. We're still running this in DLAA. So here we go. And I'm just going to keep running this until it crashes out. So a couple of key takeaways. I'm just going to keep running this until it crashes out. Uh, frame generation, working with RR, with Mega Geometry, RTX DI, all in one demo is pretty darn impressive. I think this is the first time that we actually have this publicly available, that we have all of these technologies all in one set and one go, which is really darn cool. Now, I'm not entirely sure if like, meta geometry or mega geometry will make it to the real unreal engine 5 branch because from what i'm noticing is that nvidia is developing tools for unreal engine 5 but at the same time epic is also developing tools uh, on their side if you think about the rtx di that came out now they have uh, epic has this thing called mega lights so it's pretty cool to see both companies kind of trying to push graphics to the highest level and what's more cooler is we're starting to see games implement these technologies like Cyberpunk, uh, Black Myth Wukong. Uh, so it's it's pretty cool because it's not just like demos anymore. Some of these companies are starting to really use these technologies and put it in their uh, games, which is really darn exciting. And lastly, I'm going to show you something really crazy here. On the left side here, that is a mirror. Now, if you've been using Unreal Engine for a while, and you're using Lumen Reflections, this right here should be blowing your mind right about now. This is insane. Whenever I saw Restear uh, before in a clip image, it blew my mind. I was like, yo, is that a mirror or is there like geometry behind the wall? But that is actually reflection. It's insane. Like, I want you to try this in Unreal Engine 5 in just a regular uh, Lumen, right? Lumen reflection software. You're not going to get this type of reflection. It's just absolutely, absolutely mind-blowing. The shadows are right. It just looks so darn good. And so far, we're doing pretty good. It hasn't crashed out on us yet. This looks incredible. And, and what's crazy about all this is um, I used to render kind of like shorts in Maya when I would have like a character, one character, and I would have like an HDRI background and it would take like seven days to render one clip, you know? And to look at this now, being able to run this, even at 22 frames per second, it looks like this without any frame gen. It is truly, truly incredible. I mean, the shadows here look so freaking good. It's so, you know, it's just dark and deep. And it, it's pretty nice. This this little showcase here really showcases the power of the ray reconstruction denoiser here because it, it cleans it up pretty much. Let me turn this off so you can kind of see what you're working with in here. Get some noise in there. And some flickers. I'm not sure if YouTube is going to clean that up, but on my end here on the edge, just, you can definitely see the uh, the noise there as well. And just for fun, let's um, I'm going to turn off the frame generation. And let's go with... Uh, I'm going to turn off the DLSS. And we'll go with the native built-in. TAA here, so you can kind of see it. So this is like TAA right now, what you're looking at. Again, with the denoiser off, obviously. So that is what wave reconstruction is kind of like dealing with 
And that's what's, it's ba basically the noising. Pretty interesting here. I mean, I hope YouTube will show this, but this kind of reminds me of like film, which is kind of cool in a way if you like that kind of noise. But <laughs> if you're like a gamer, you're like, what is this? Why is it so noisy? But yeah, this this just looks looks incredible. But that's pretty much it. If you want me to go ahead and do the other scenes to take a look at it and kind of break it down and uh, you know do my first impression, let me know in the comments below. Uh, YouTube is not showing a lot of my Unreal Engine 5 videos anymore on the search. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you actually want to see it so I'm just not like wasting my time uh, with these demonstrations here if nobody's really watching it. That said, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.